Hello everyone and welcome back to Date Warp. We are up to episode 2 now and someone is laughing like a fool for unknown reasons. Anyway, we have to make a decision, so uh, yeah, what are your thoughts? Uh, okay, so Bradley could protect us. I mean, I guess we know him better than we know anyone else here, even though it's just our first date. But it's kind of weird, but I don't know. I feel like he wouldn't do anything, right? Probably not. I He's can't imagine protection. it actually going badly like that. I don't think it has that kind of content in this game. No, I don't think so either. Uh, yeah, nothing bad happens either way. Um, it's just our personal choice. I think we get more friendly to... Uh, I almost said Barry, but no, Bradley. It's <laughs> not Resident Evil. Though that would be amusing. Um, I wish he was in this game. I think we get more friendly to him if we share a room. Uh, surprise, surprise. But I don't think it leads to anything right away. All right. So uh, it's your choice. Let's just share a room with him. Why not? Whatever. All right, we'll share a room. We can share. I don't want to put you to too much trouble. As you wish. Oh, oh. out of the corner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> out of the corner of my eye, I can see Bradley nodding at me in approval. <laughs> Nathaniel shows us to what's obviously a spare bedroom. It's clean and well presented, but very plain. How plain and unoriginal. <sighs> Did I ever mention that I always forget their voices like right away? <laughs> He's the Karama. There are some pajamas under the duvet. They should be large enough to fit. You know where the bathroom is, and you shouldn't need anything from the rest of the house, all right? Yeah, we're fine. I'll see you in the morning, then. Pleasant dreams. Ugh. He closes the door behind him. Look at that pillow we get. Wow, we get one <laughs> pillow to share. And it's small. How nice. As soon as he's gone, I turn on Bradley. What's with you? First you were saying these people were weird and we couldn't trust them, and then all of a sudden you want to spend the night? That's not quite what I said. They're strangers, that's all. It's dangerous out there in the rain. We're better off inside. After all, it's dangerous to go alone. <laughs> and as long as we stick together, we can watch out for each other. Just so you know, I agreed to share a room with you, but that's all. Well, I didn't say anything to the other effects. Look at his face! Huh? Oh, of course not. I'm not that kind of guy to sleep with a girl on the first date. I know, I just had to be sure. Well, actually, we didn't really know you very well. Yeah, how would we know? What do you mean, you know? You have a reputation. Oh, he does? For not sleeping with girls in the first scene. <laughs> because he's a jock? I don't know. I don't know, what? Oh, I suppose I do. Ha ha ha. Vanessa was right, he is harmless. When she realizes I'm not coming back to our room tonight, what will she think? That maybe Bradley's found the girl he was looking for after all? <laughs> what kind of girl was he looking for? <laughs> I wonder if my hallmates place bets on it. Oh my <laughs> god, shut up. Oh, teenage drama. <laughs> will they believe that nothing happened? Or will they be teasing me about this for the rest of the semester? Oh no. They're She's like happy about it. It's going to be like horse hall. She's like, oh my god, I'm a slut. It's going to be like Virginia and Ellen and all that gossip. Mm-hmm. Because of our dating with Damien. Such... <laughs> Such a bad boy. Well, that was a little different. Well, it was. <laughs> but to be fair, it really didn't get too creepy until the end. Yeah. When he decided he's going to suck our blood. Not suck our blood, but our soul suck our magic or, or whatever. whatever. You can have the bed. I'll sleep on the floor. Don't be silly. I've shared beds with friends before. There's nothing wrong with it. Yes, they were girlfriends, but so what? If I couldn't trust him, I wouldn't share a room with him at all. There's no reason for him to suffer just because he's a boy. Yes, don't have to suffer. We settle in for the night. It's hard to get to sleep in a strange place, listening to someone else's breathing. Oh, that's kind of weird. Bradley's still wearing all of his clothes, even his jacket, and the metal bits click gently when he shifts. Okay. Wait, why they click? I don't know. What? Why is he wearing his jacket? Bits. I don't know. And who's where, who's using the pillow? Rain <laughs> rattles and thumps Neither. against the window panes. Distant creaks tremble through the house. We're using it as merely a divider. Oh, I see. I never did get a straight answer about how many people are here, or why. There are at least five boys in the house with me. Five? Uh, Including Bradley, I guess. Okay. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know if we include Bradley, because he's kind of familiar. Well, I guess not really. Whatever. <laughs> for a practice date, Bradley's not so bad. He's a bit old-fashioned, holding doors for me, wanting to order for me, offering to sleep on the floor, and so on. It's polite, but kind of impersonal. What's this nonsense about a practice date? You don't go on a date with someone or you <laughs> He's don't. training wheels, remember? <laughs> That's so stupid. Did you tell him, oh, you're just a practice date, by the way. I don't really take this seriously. Bradley, you are my training wheels. And isn't 19 a little old to have a practice date? Well, I guess she did say she was a bit withdrawn for her childhood yeah, or whatever. but whatever. 
I feel like he acts this way because I'm a girl, and that's how he thinks you're supposed to treat girls. It's that southern gentleman charm. Oh, He's yes. He's used those manners and dozens of them. It's not because he likes me. I didn't think that maybe I should be using a southern accent for him, but oh well. Maybe he's from the north. We don't know where he's from. He could be. Bradley's not my type. I don't think he has any interest besides sports and cars. Still, it's nice to have someone pay attention to me, even if it's not real. Because he's it- paying attention to you? How is that not real? <laughs> he seems to be taking this seriously, even if you're not. Yeah. But anyway, I was going to say, even if I did a southern accent, that'd just probably end up terribly. Yeah. <laughs> I've never really tried one before. Then there's Raphael. Dobby. He's so helpful and sweet, like a little kid. Most boys at high school and university are loud and vulgar. <laughs> Most boys are being so judgmental. Oh my god. Obviously not everyone. Boys are loud and vulgar. <laughs> Every single boy ever was loud and vulgar. Vulgar. Of course, if he works here, it's probably his job to be polite. He said he's visiting. I think a butler would be <laughs> Clean better out your dressed. ears, damn it. Maybe he was in the middle of cleaning. He said he was just visiting. <laughs> oh, he wasn't. <laughs> yes, he was. He did say that. <laughs> Um, but that might mean he's a temporary employee. No, he said anything about being an employee. (laughs) Damn it. Linz also appears to work here, although I'm not sure what his position is. Uh, doctor? He told us. (laughs) (laughs) Janet, so airheaded. I've always thought boys with glasses were cute, but there's something (laughs) slightly creepy about him. Yeah, uh, like... Just because you like glasses on a boy doesn't mean that you should like every single one of them. What the heck? All boys are loud and vulgar, except ones with glasses. They're cute. Except this one, who's creepy. And the, yes, this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Nathaniel and his house seem like they come from a different world, one of luxurious refinement. My family is far from poor, but we don't live anything like this. A different world of luxury, which doesn't exist in our world. Yet he offered us help right away without asking anything in return. We're strangers, and he opened his home to us. He's kind and generous, or else just a rich eccentric. Or both, or a vampire murderer. (laughs) Yes. Albin is the odd one out. He was a bit rude, and then wandered off as soon as we entered. He certainly doesn't look like he belongs in a mansion like this, and he doesn't act upper class. Um, (laughs) he was the odd one out. Everything else is pretty odd, too. I mean, the doctor walking in and be like, oh, that's nothing I haven't seen before. Freaking like, Dobby that? is not the odd one out. <laughs> Alvin was rude, but didn't he take our hand in after we uh, yelled at him? Or I think he was trying to shake our hand because he's like, I'm Alvin, as soon as he offered his hand. So I think that's what that was, but Maybe. it was still weird. It was hard to tell. He looks more like someone you'd give a wide berth to if you were walking <laughs> alone at night. What? He's not fat. Whether the... <laughs> Whether that judgment was fair or not, though, like, I guess he's dangerous, but, like, he looks really weak and skinny. Like, I don't think you'd have to give him a wide berth. I think he'd be fine. Yeah, he doesn't look intimidating at all to me. No. Just looks like one of those, uh, I don't know, emo boys from, like, ten years ago. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. In the morning, we'll be gone. 408. The next morning, everyone gathers in the dining room for breakfast. Is that supposed to be Nathaniel in that photo, that painting or whatever? Because it's amazing. There's like lightning behind him and shit. I don't think so, but I'm not sure what that is. It's a vampire. It's an odd painting, I'll give you that. I don't think Bradley slept very well. He looks tired. Linz is munching absently through a plate of sausage biscuits. I don't think I've heard him speak to anyone. He barely seems to notice we're here. Alvin definitely knows we're here. <laughs> he keeps glaring at everybody. I think he needs more coffee. Damn. Only Nathaniel's polished manners keep the conversation moving. Well, thank goodness for Nathaniel. And Raphael's eggs. <laughs> more scrambled eggs, anyone? I think I've had enough thanks. No new faces have turned up. If there's anyone else in the mansion, they're staying out of sight. They're all such different people. It's hard to imagine what would bring them all together. Breakfast, obviously. (laughs) Everyone seems to be finishing their meals now. Raphael is gathering plates. It would be polite to offer to help, but I've never washed dishes by hand in my life. Surely rich people have dishwashers, right? Yes, and their dishwashers are the servants. Exactly. Should we offer to help? Um, Um, I don't remember this choice, but okay. Oh yeah, I do. Of course I do. It's, um, well, I'm not going to say. Why should we offer to help? You can get more friendly to, uh... Yeah, but I don't name? care about him. He's Dobby. Dobby. Close to what's Dobby. his name again? I Raphael. Raphael. Yeah, I always remember because it's like the Ninja Turtle. 
Yay. All right, so we decide we're not going to help Dobby after all, uh, also known as Raphael. <laughs> I stay quiet as Raphael does all the work. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Raphael. Well, I don't want to wash dishes. I'm afraid I'm still a novice in the kitchen myself. Wait, is he commenting that we're not helping? I am trying to learn a few things. I ought to be able to cook for myself when necessary, but Robert often insists on getting things done efficiently. Who's Robert? Should it be more, uh, like, Robert? <laughs> I feel like that's more refined. <laughs> but Robert often insists on getting things done different, uh, efficiently, not differently. Okay, so who's Robert? 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 My major domo. He's not here at the moment. I... I don't... No. Some rich people term for servant or something. You have a lot of servants? Like the head servant, I'm guessing. Yeah. Just the one. I don't need much, usually. Aren't you supposed to be leaving? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I haven't done this voice in a while, so I have no idea what to do for him anymore. But it's just so funny. <sighs> What's your problem? What have we ever done to you? Too much. <laughs> Albin. We ought to leave. Maybe the phone works now? Nathaniel leads us out of the dining room to the hall we were in last night. Don't take Albin too seriously. He's having a hard time right now. Why's that? Someone close to him is very ill. He turns away and picks up the phone. The line is still down. That's alright. Now that the rain has stopped, we can go outside to pick up the signal. Yes, we should get going. We return to the grand entrance. Sensing our departure, everyone comes to see us off. Aw, everyone's gathered around to see us off. How cute. Goodbye, and good luck. <laughs> Thanks for your hospitality. We really appreciate it, Dobby. <laughs> You're like the only one that actually care. I go to open the door. Oh! Well now. Um, that's different. What? What on earth is that? I'm sensing an intro. Thank you.